Hello, my friends, this is Eric Parker with One Number Tableau Experts. In this week's video, we're gonna look at why would an object in a layout container not expand and contract correctly when you've set up something like a uh, dashboard action that is supposed to do that, okay? So first of all, let me show you an example of a scenario where it's working correctly, okay? This is from an old video we did called How to Expand and Contract Worksheets in a Tableau Dashboard. I'll include a link to that in the description if you wanna learn how to do something like this. So the way that we set this up, uh, when you make a selection, like I select these bars in this top worksheet, a little table pops up down below with some additional details for the countries I've selected. And then if I deselect that little worksheet at the bottom, uh, that text table goes away, okay? So that's how it's supposed to work. Uh, but then let's go look at another scenario where it's not working, right? So in this case, I mean, my filter action is working. So I have a worksheet that's showing up when a selection is made and then you know disappearing when this uh, selection is undone. However, the worksheet is not changing heights at all. So uh, it's not expanding and contracting correctly. So we just have all this weird white space at the bottom of our dashboard, okay? So the first thing that we're looking for is the objects that we want to expand and contract, they need to be contained together in a layout container. So in this case, I've got not only the bar chart, but it's kind of hidden right now. I've also got this other worksheet uh, that's that text table. You can see it's sort of highlighted over here in my list of worksheets in my dashboard pane. Um, those are both together in a layout container. If I double click on the handle, it'll show me this blue border of the layout container that they're both in together. If you need to brush up on layout containers, I'll drop a link to uh, a video that we did on layout containers recently. I'll put that in the description as well. So you can check that out, okay? Uh, so what we're looking for here is, are either of the objects fixed height? So what I mean by that is that both of these objects need to be dynamic height for this to work correctly. What you're looking for is when you select the worksheet and you get the little outline, you're looking for that pin. If the pin uh, is uh, filled in, it is a fixed height or fixed width object. If it is not filled in, if it's, you know, uh, I don't, can't remember the word, I've got dad break going on right now, but uh, if you can see the middle of it and it's a different color, it's not the outline, uh, then it is dynamic, okay? So you can see this worksheet down below, it is a fixed height. So how does that happen? A um, few different ways that that could happen. So uh, number one, you click on the pin, okay? I think that's probably the least likely way that this happens on accident, but it could happen. Uh, option two, you hit the drop down, and depending on your type of layout container, you either say edit height or edit width, and you type in a number here. So if I say like, hey, make this thing 250 pixels tall, you know, now again, fixed height down here, okay? Um, option three, check this out. I'm gonna make both of them uh, dynamic. So deselect the pin here, click down here, deselect the pin here. If I just take a worksheet and just drag it to be a certain height, that makes it a fixed height. So I also cannot do that. I need to deselect that in order for it to expand and collapse based on my user selection. So I hope that helps you solve your problem if this is what you're running into. Um, if you check out this info button up here in the top corner, Ollie and I run Tableau classes every month, Tableau Desktop, Tableau Prep, uh, Tableau Dashboarding, uh, beginners, advanced calculations. Uh, we cover all of that stuff. And so we would love to have you in one of those classes, get to know you and be able to dive into these types of topics in a lot more depth. Not to mention, we also drop free videos like this on YouTube every single week. So feel free to follow along for more. Um, thank you for checking this out and we will catch you all on the next video.